Hello guys, welcome back to the Busmaster 99 YouTube channel. Today, I proudly present an in-depth review and cool features of the 2018 Mercedes-Benz S560 4Matic. Here's what the new smart key looks like. And without further ado, let's start it up. Let it run and show you some of the cool features this car has to offer. Press the button once to turn the ignition on, to turn the accessory mode on. To turn the full ignition on, press again. Then to start, you press the brake and press the button to start. Makes a nice startup sound. Has only 16 miles on it. I'm going to put the lift down. Okay, so starting over here on the left side, we have the lane keeping assist as well as the steering assist. And then this button here will put up the rear sunshade. There's the three stage garage door home link. SOS, two-step process, roadside assistance and embrace. This button here is for your driver's side reading lamp. This right here is for the, uh, is to disable the interior illumination when one of the doors is opened. This is for overriding the interior illumination controls. And this is to turn the, turn the interior illumination on in the rear. And then a passenger side reading lamp. Sunroof controls, pull back to open. It's also one touch automatic, so if you pull it back all the way, you don't have to hold it. Do that to close. So you pull down to close and you push up just to crack it open. Nice. This button here will open and close the rear sunshade. And to close the front sunshade, just pull down. Coming to the transmission. It is a 9G Tronic automatic transmission controlled through this stock here. Put your foot on the brake, pull all the way down for drive, push up once for neutral. Once you're in neutral, you receive a warning indicating that neutral is permanently engaged. Pull all the way up for reverse. You do get a backup camera with guidance lines as you move the steering wheel. To go to neutral from reverse, click one down. To activate brake hold, just push the brake even further while your foot is still on it. And to put it in park, press the button on the end, then it's in park. Alright, to use the interactive controls, press the home button, swipe left to go left, swipe right to go right. It's pretty easy to get used to can also change the LCD screen designs. You have, you can choose one of three different options, sport, classic, and progressive, which is the futuristic design. I like this design the best, unless you're driving the Maybach, of course, then I'd leave it in classic. But we're going to leave it in classic for this one, too. Okay, so now it's time to check out the exterior. I'm going to turn on the headlights. Four ways. 
and let's see what under the hood has to offer too. So I'm gonna pop that. It's this red latch down here. You just pull on it. All right, see you guys outside. With this being the S560, the engine is a detuned AMG M176 engine with a four liter displacement. It's a V8 with the hot inside V twin turbo technology. You can kind of see it. Maximum horsepower output is 463. Maximum pound feet of torque is 512. New front grille, which was exclusively for the V12 models previously. Multi-beam adaptive LED headlights are standard. And those turn signals, they just remind me of the uh, Bugatti Veyron's headlights when it was facelifted. There's your coolant reservoir. That's where you can jump in case your battery runs flat. Distronic Plus. All right, let's close the hood. LED side turn signal mirrors with a camera for the 360 degree camera system. I love the way the LED tail lights look. You can pop the trunk just by pressing that button. Nice amount of trunk space. Emergency release. LED illumination. And then you can press this button to close it. Ventilated disc brakes. Okay, let's check out some more features. You also do get an indicator when a door is ajar. You can scroll between your eco display, range to empty, Distance from start, distance from reset, miles per hour, in case you didn't want to use the speedometer on the left, you can have a numerical readout, and then your trip computer and odometer. All four windows are fully automatic. You can also control the rear sunshades on the back windows. We're going to put them down. Center storage with wireless charging. It's a new feature to the S Class. You can also put your key in here in case the battery dies. 12 volt power outlet. cup holders which are illuminated it's the ashtray another 12 volt power outlet so here is the AC button and this is also the rest button so here's how the rest mode works when you turn the car off and you still want AC you can have the AC run for a max of 10 minutes after shutting the engine off, and that's how the rest mode works. Horn sounds nice. Cruise control is off to the left instead of having it be a stock. To cancel, press down. To resume, press up. In the center, you go down one for a one mile per hour decrease, down all the way for a five mile per hour decrease, and vice versa for up. That button is to turn the adaptive cruise control on and off. You can set the distance by using this switch over on the right. 
to prevent tailgating, especially while on the highway. Turn signal control, pretty obvious. Automatic rain sensing wipers. Rear window lock. Door locks and unlocks. With this button here, you can control the passenger side seat with the driver seat controls. I really like that feature. Heated and ventilated seats, three person memory, Burmester audio system. This is to open and close the vents. I, or it's not an IWC clock, but it is an analog clock. This does have a 4G hotspot. As you can see, paddle shifters behind the steering wheel if you want to change gears manually. Down here, this is the massage function. Navigation, radio, four-way hazard lights, media, telephone, and vehicle settings. You can set the climate control, energizing comfort, which plays music and gives you a massage. You can set the dynamic select. You can configure individual. We'll do that right now. So you have four different selections, eco, comfort, sport, and when you select manual, that basically turns individual into manual mode for non-AMG vehicles. Electronic stability program can be set to sport as well. All right, so let's talk about the different drive modes. So you press down to go down towards eco and press up to go towards sport and individual. So in eco, the engine is set to eco, the suspension and steering and ESP are all set to comfort. In comfort, which is the default setting, everything is set to comfort. In sport, everything is set to sport. However, it doesn't disable the auto start stop then an individual, which I just programmed, I've pretty much set that up as manual mode. So that's the driving dynamics for the non-AMG models. However, if you opt for the magic body control, you also get a curve mode on the S560. Now as for the AMG models, you also get a Sport Plus mode. And instead of having the raised suspension button be here, this is replaced with a manual button and the raised suspension would be over here. Panel brightness. So when the lights are on, that will dim the brightness if it's all the way down. Here's the uh, mirror controls. You can also fold the mirrors in. This is to control the power headrest. All right. Climate control has its own menu. You can set the climate mode. Air freshener, ionization, air distribution, foot well temperature. can also set the light settings. You can turn the daytime running lights on and off. You no longer have to turn the car off to turn this on and off. You can turn the auto lamp delay on and off and set the time. Same with the interior lights. You can also control the right side of the screen using the toggle right here. 
if you so desire. However, I prefer to use this controller. It's what I'm used to. Auto start stop on and off. This is to raise and lower the aromatic suspension or air body control now. You get a notification when it's rising and when it's lowering. And the light stays lit to indicate that the suspension is up. Parking cameras. You can switch between different views. You can even see a simulation of what's around the car. All right. This is to turn the command on and off. Volume controls, push down to mute. This button here will put down the rear headrests. This button here is parking sensors off. Rear defrost, max defrost, recycle, fan speed. So this is what auto, this was what will override the automatic control. All right, moving on. We have a glove box with uh, trunk lock right here and LED interior illumination. I love the stitching pattern that they used in this example. All right, let's move on to the back but I'm gonna have to get in on the right side. You can see why. Also has auto self-closing doors. Of course, S-Classes have had these for years, but I thought I'd just mention it anyway. So now we're in the back of the 2018 Mercedes-Benz S560. Right up here we have a vanity mirror with an LED light. You also have LED rear and interior illumination as I mentioned earlier. Pull handles, reading lights, and the rear passengers can also turn on the interior illumination with this button if they so desire. Rear window controls, you can even control the opposite side um, window. Heated and ventilated rear seats, and this button will push the passenger seat forward. You also do have uh, three-stage memory seats in the back. Got nice storage. Back here we have another power outlet. This is to plug your electronic devices into. You can opt for a rear climate control system. I love the wood trim that they put on the back of each seat. Well, front seats only, of course. This folds down. You do have nice cup holders. And then this button will release the mechanism. And here we have a storage compartment. And back here, we do have another storage compartment. You can opt for a refrigerator. Let's just pull this back up. You can adjust this up and down using this button here. No button on the other side, so it has to be done from the right only. I never noticed that before. All right. Well, I think that just about covers everything. Oops.